people who enjoy lovely things. My name is Rach and it's certainly no secret just how much I love Dark Souls. Dark Souls is easily one of the most influential games of the decade. Almost immediately after the game took off back in 2011, game developers have been inspired to create similarly challenging experiences. Characterised by their action-adventure combat, levels broken up by checkpoints that respawn enemies, loss of experience upon death, RPG elements, expansive levels, and of course, challenging boss fights with one hell of a euphoria upon defeating them. By now, you've probably heard of, and hopefully played, Neo, The Surge, and Lords of the Fallen, each switching up the genre in their own unique ways. But for those who are looking for a little more punishment to their gaming palette, behold a collection of lesser known titles that deserve your attention immediately. These are the 10 best Souls-like video games you haven't played. Number 10. Ashen Ashen takes the Dark Souls formula and introduces a simple, flat art style and a charming addition of completing NPC quests in order to rebuild your home village. Darkness is not your ally in Ashen, as you will quickly discover. Many caves and dangerous dungeons are pitch black, and you will have to either sacrifice one of your hands to hold out a lantern in order to eliminate your path, or trudge blindly forwards into the darkness armed with a shield or two-handed weapon. To assist you on your journey to protect the Ashen, you will build relationships with the people that you meet. Every NPC that you assist will prosper as a result, and in turn will offer better services to you. Instead of with the NPC allies, players can choose to explore with other players, in a passive co-op multiplayer style similar to Journey. Number 9. Absolver Devolver Digital's gift to the Souls-like genre is Absolver, a create-your-own-fighting-style martial arts game featuring fluid real-time combat in a deeply tactical system akin to the likes of For Honor. Rarely can a game featuring no weapons have combat this intricate. Done by swapping specific animations into attack strings, you unlock new moves by having them used against you, meaning you're encouraged to travel and defeat opponents and other players, earning specific XP as you go. Dark Souls enthusiasts will recognize familiar tropes such as melancholic world setting, difficult boss fights, and plenty of opportunities to die to gravity. However, it is all wrapped up in a tight little package, the game offering around 5 hours of gameplay, but as a proof of concept, it's a very unique take on the genre indeed. Number 8. Necropolis Necropolis takes Dark Souls, places it into a roguelike setting, and then adds in some 4-player co-op to sweeten the deal. Necropolis's dungeons are procedurally generated, adding a layer of replayability. Enemies vary in difficulty from mooks all the way up to formidable foes, and there is an extra layer of difficulty in the navigation in general. It's easy to get lost while you're exploring down identical corridors, forcing you to make use of chalk to mark your way around the labyrinth. Prism stones, in Dark Souls terms. New codex abilities are what persist through death, as once you die, you lose your character and start again from the beginning. A curious feature is the intentional vagueness in item descriptions. You'll either love it or you'll hate it. It adds an element of mystery and often humour to everything you pick up in the game, encouraging you to try everything out for yourself. Number 7. Shattered – Tale of the Forgotten King Definitely one to keep an eye on. Shattered Tale of the Forgotten King began life as a Kickstarter campaign and released in summer 2019 in early access. At time of recording, it is still far from being a finished product, but it has shown more than enough promise to warrant a place here. Drawing inspiration from Shadow of the Colossus, Legacy of Cain, and of course Dark Souls, Shattered tells the tale of a lone amnesiac wanderer who explores an expansive world full to the brim with lore. The unique selling point for Shattered is its mix of 2D and 3D gameplay. As usual, there is the standard 3D open world showcasing difficult yet rewarding gameplay and an emphasis on exploration. However, some zones are 2D platformers with puzzles hidden within. The switch in perspective is a brilliant addition and it works surprisingly well for the Souls genre. Number 6. Death's Gambit Death's Gambit is a 2D platformer with deep RPG elements and hack and slash action combat nicely packaged in a gorgeous pixelated art style with some incredibly fun boss encounters. 
Featuring a beautiful pixel world full of horrific creatures keen on destroying you, equip yourself with an array of weaponry and switch between them in order to combat enemies' strengths and weaknesses. It's dark and creepy, widely reminiscent of Castlevania Symphony of the Night, featuring a non-linear world full of secret areas and treasures to discover through careful exploration. Talent systems and skill points offer gameplay customization as usual, and there are always plenty of opportunities to slip up and die at the tiniest hint of distraction. Unlike Dark Souls, you don't lose souls when you die, but rather precious healing items instead. Number 5. Blasphemous More accurately, Blasphemous is a Metroidvania with hack and slash combat, set in a non-linear world with heavy religious themes. You'll play as the Penitent One, a gentleman wearing a very uncomfortable looking helmet and wielding a sword. The usual tropes are present, however, what makes Blasphemous truly stand out is its charmingly nostalgic art style that is penetrated by a creepy atmosphere and over-the-top gory kill animations, often using the enemy's own weapons against them. Bosses are each unique and take full advantage of Blasphemous's platforming style and action-adventure combat, and some truly challenging level designs with pixel-perfect platforming, making one single wrong move absolutely devastating, sending you repeatedly plummeting down into spiked pits below, which of course instantly kills you. Number 4. Dead Cells Dark Souls and Metroidvania tend to go hand in hand very well these days. Add a healthy dose of a roguelike into the mix and you have got Dead Cells, an intense 2D action game with the constant threat of permadeath hanging over every encounter with its difficult bosses and non-linear levels full of hidden passageways and secrets to discover. Long gone are the days of resting peacefully by the bonfire, Dead Cells does not have checkpoints. You'll have to repeat the cycle, gaining a little more experience both in-game and metaphorically to allow you to tackle the game's challenges a little better each time. Levels are procedurally generated with random placement of enemies and items. It plays a lot like The Binding of Isaac, with the random items that you find directly influencing each run. A really cool addition is the Twitch integration, which allows stream viewers to influence the game for the streamer playing it. Using the chat, one person can follow the streamer as a helpful chicken and can vote to send them useful items or make their life a misery. Number 3. Remnant from the Ashes Put down those swords and shields and pick up a rifle because Remnant from the Ashes introduces the Soulsborne formula to the third-person shooter. Think of it as Destiny and The Division meets Dark Souls with a sprinkling of the evil within two throughout. It's absolutely brilliant. Heavily bolstered by its stellar online co-op, Remnant encourages you to join up with friends and explore its worlds together, featuring a dynamically changing world that makes sure everyone keeps on their toes. You could come up against a completely different boss from other players each playthrough. Memorable bosses and a wickedly savage difficulty help shape this game as a Souls-like, but it's so much more than that. It's the emphasis on jolly cooperation and the fresh feeling of dodging boss attacks to then retaliate with a pistol that sets Remnant apart as a truly unique experience. Number 2. Salt and Sanctuary Ska Studios' tiny team of husband and wife nailed the Soulsborne genre on the head in 2016 with the release of Salt and Sanctuary. Taking the usual formula and putting it entirely into a 2D platformer setting, mixing in some Metroidvania elements of gating certain areas behind learning special moves, and resulting in a charming little package with sporadically surprising difficulty. Featuring the most giant, intimidating skill tree that you've ever seen, build your character and scour the cursed land searching for a way off the island that you have found yourself shipwrecked upon. Featuring delightfully obscure and at times terrifying world lore, looking at you creepy crucified chap, players will need to pledge themselves to a covenant in order to set up sanctuaries as checkpoints along their journey. Did I mention that the game has a double jump? Because it has a double jump. A Dark Souls game with a double jump. It's brilliant. Number 1. Code Vein Character creator lovers rejoice! Code Vein has the most charming and customizable character creation suite that we have ever seen in a Souls-like. You can spend forever designing your perfect gorgeous anime waifu, changing the colours of everything, adding heterochromia, hair extensions, face paints, wings, horns, bells, whistles, tails, you name it. Not only featuring a highly customizable physical appearance, Code Vein is perhaps the most unique when it comes to deciding how you want 
want to build and play your character. The game's combat follows the simple dodge block mechanics of Dark Souls, but it allows players the opportunity to swap between different set builds, unlock talents within each build, and mix and match between them in order to create your perfect hybrid. Playing around with different spells and abilities is a blast, and exploring every single nook and cranny within this densely populated, dangerous world will reward you. Speaking of difficulty, Code Vein doesn't exactly excel in that particular area due to the inclusion of a partner NPC or fellow player fighting by your side the entire time, but that doesn't mean you should ever let your guard down though. Bosses are each unique, and some are incredibly memorable, including a backwards doggo butt creature and a throwback to our very own beloved Ornstein and Smo, with this encounter in particular being truly an accomplishment to take down, even with an NPC partner. And that's our list, thank you so much for watching. As always, any others you'd like to add, be sure to put them in the comments below. Once again, my name has been Rach, you can follow me on Twitter if you like, at Don't Rach Quit. Hey, I just wanted to say, that is a really cool t-shirt you have on today. See you tomorrow guys, have an awesome day.